I've got these two saws with these junky plastic handles. They don't fit your hand very well and they're not very conducive to cutting straight lines for joinery. So I wanted to make some new handles for them out of wood. I have printed out some saw handle templates and they were very very useful for getting a good shape that fits in the hand just absolutely beautifully. And I'm just going to be using some spray adhesive to attach them to the wood. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can find templates for these handles. It was super super useful to use them. They're from TGIAG Tools Workshop. It's two guys in a garage tool workshop. I am going to center punch these holes. That way they are easier to drill out. And then, in fact, go ahead and drill these holes out with Forstner bits. Don't forget to clamp your work down onto the workbench, especially if you're using Forstner bits not in a drill press, because Forstner bits use a lot of force down on the wood and they can tend to grab and spin the wood. And I find you, you usually need two hands on the drill. We are going to cut these shapes out on my small, it's a half horsepower bandsaw from Delta. It works really well. I've got a, I believe it's a 6 TPI inch blade on right now. It's good for cutting some shallow curves, but I did have to take a couple passes on a couple of the curves on the handles. If you would like to support the show that I provide for you for free, there's a link in the description and up in the corner to where you can donate on Patreon. I really would like to have that fund some of the projects and the channel, that way I can continue making videos like this. We now have to cut the slot for the saw blade into the saw handle. We're using the same saw that the handle is going to hold, that way the kerf, which is how wide of a groove that the saw makes for the handle, is the same size as the gap for the handle. This was a little difficult because I was making a rip cut with a cross cut saw. This is a cross cut saw that I'm working on right now. Making this cut for the handle was a little bit easier using this saw because it is a rip cut saw and I later filed it to be a cross cut saw. It just suited my needs a little bit better being a cross cut saw than a rip cut saw. And here we're just doing some final refining to make sure that the blade sits in the handle nice and straight and perpendicular that way we can make nice straight and perpendicular cuts. When I was drilling the holes for the handle shape earlier, I forgot to drill out the bolts, the holes for the bolts, so I just did that there. And This is the handle for the smaller saw that I was working on. Unfortunately, when I was drilling the holes for the bolts, it kind of chipped out and exploded because the, the drill bit grabbed really hard and blew up the piece, so I'm going to have to scrap this handle, but I will continue working on the other one. I'm now getting on to some carving of the handle to get it a nice shape and not be all blocky in the hand. And I think my chisel control skills heightened a lot in this project. You may see that I make some really, really nice cuts with the chisel. Like this super nice cut. I was really, really proud of it. I think in general, my control with my tools is getting a lot better, you know, chisel-wise, saw-wise, and 
you know, file-wise, not so much. I'm still a little bit of a barbarian with them. The handle shape is really starting to take shape. Um, and now I'm just going to be doing some light refining with this round rasp file. I need to get some more files, it's a good investment, I think. Now, of course, moving on to the dreaded hand sanding. I think I spent about an hour and a half just sanding with 100 grit to get rid of the scratches and tool marks from the file. In hindsight, I think using the file was not a good idea. It added a lot of time onto the sanding. But I was able to get a nice finish on it with the hand sanding. I went up to 220 grit with the sandpaper, and as you can see, it looks pretty nice. And when we're applying the finish, it's gonna pop nice and orange colors. I think this is either I think this is tigerwood, and it looks absolutely stunning. I have an offcut from the chunk of wood that I used to make this handle, and I think I'm going to make a sister handle for the other saw. I really like the way this project came out. I think it showed my heightened skills and how much better I'm getting with my tools. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you really love what I'm doing here, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.